Hernando de Soto was a Spanish conquistador who made his fortune in the conquest of Panama, Nicaragua, and ultimately in Peru, where he was one of the lieutenants under Pizarro, who was the leader in the conquest of Peru. In the spring of 1539, he mounted an expedition into the southeastern United States in search of the kind of gold and silver he'd seen in Central and South America. Um, he landed in Tampa Bay with about 600 men in May of 1539, and then over the next several years moved through all of the southeastern United States, including South Carolina, North Carolina. There are four written 16th century accounts describing the explorations of the DeSoto expedition, and through the past couple centuries, scholars, especially historians and more recently archaeologists, have tried to track the route that DeSoto took through the southeast. As more archaeological information and better maps have come along, we've been able to modify the route that we think DeSoto took, and it was that work that led ultimately to the discovery of the real location of Fort San Juan up near Morganton, North Carolina. But there was another bit of detective work by de Prater that helped pinpoint the location of Juan Pardo's Spanish settlement in North Carolina. But the real key to understanding where Pardo went came when I was on a fellowship at the Newberry Library in Chicago and I came across a reference to a longer dis document describing the expedition of Juan Pardo. And then once we had that in hand, we realized that it gave very detailed day-by-day -day movements for the Pardo expedition. It allowed us then to figure out exactly where he had moved from Santa Elena up the Catawba River Valley through the interior and ultimately to pinpoint the location of Fort San Juan and the Indian town of Jawara where it was established. 